I am in Leh Ladakh, the land of passes, the land of snow, and the land of sunshine. I have with me Dr. Om Prakash Chaurasya. He is the director of the Defense Institute of High Altitude Research, part of the Defense Research and Development Organization. Earlier they did a lot of work on agriculture, but today the focus is on using solar energy for giving solutions for the Indian soldiers and for the Indian civilians. Thanks a lot for speaking yeah, to me, Dr. Thank, thank you, thank you. What a beautiful location yeah, you yeah. have. You are a now a Ladakhi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for the compliments. What is the kind of solar flux which uh, yeah. lay Ladakh and this upper reaches get? Yeah. As you told and as we know, in Ladakh Himalaya is quite abundant in the solar energy uh, with high solar radiation, uh, which ranges between 1800 kilowatts hour per year to 20, 2200 kilowatt power hour per year per year and 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 the sun sunshine duration is approximately eight hour eight hour per day with with around three hundred cloud free a cloud free days in a year that is the beauty of this place as you told this is a sun sun city sun state of the of, of the india so and there are truth so keeping and while while we comparing all these can be compared with the other parts of the india and other parts of globe ki why the, the, this place is a, so much a, a, so much solar intensity so keeping that view uh, keeping that view drdo uh, our institute is involved in developing developing solar based Green technology, uh, green technology for the uh, green to like a, like a energy efficient, uh, energy efficient for shelters for men and occupants. Then uh, uh, then the uh, solar thermal technology for heating and warming the uh, houses and residential complex. Complex then uh, then solar energy can be also be uh, uh, utilized for the for the around the year, especially in the winter uh, around the water supply in forward areas, forward areas. And this technology will be extremely useful as you told, extremely useful for uh, army as well as the uh, uh, farmers staying in the higher chores. So uh, recently. Uh, we have developed a solar thermal, uh, solar thermal uh, uh, heating technology, uh, technology for warming the uh, warming the shelters, which can be which can able to maintain the temperature of temperature of plus minus uh, uh, 15 degree in the ambient temperature of in the ambient temperature of around minus 25 to minus 30. See solar thermal uses different kinds. Uh, yeah, yeah. You also have yeah. passive yeah. use of solar, yeah. which can also be used both for homes, yeah, yeah. shelter, Correct. and also for our uh, armament. Tell yeah. me more yeah. about, because that is a very yeah. beautiful technology. Uh, no, in that, uh, we are having one project ongoing, underway, to design and develop the uh, develop the energy efficient solar passive shelter and we are aiming we will and we are establishing this uh, passive shelter at the height of 14,500 feet at Hanle in super high altitude area where the uh, where the ambient temperature drops in January minus 35 to 40 minus 40 degrees and we are we, we are uh, we, we are sure that we can our shelter can able to maintain the temperature of plus minus 15 degree in the in the ambient temperature of minus 35 to minus 40 degrees centigrade. So, so this is is this useful only for humans because you also have armament yeah, yeah, yeah. artillery guns yeah, yeah. tanks See, when they cool yeah. down mm. to super uh. cooled state, mm. they also stop working. So these passive shelters, will they be able to help the armament also keep warm and fit? Yeah, correct. 
we are in the planning phase for that also like like a to solar based hangar facility for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the all the heavy equipments like that so we are the, and in this this solar base will be extremely useful for uh, to combat the combat uh, combat and to help soldiers sustenance in high and super higher chores see you are also a lab which is known for helping the farmer yeah yeah what is this yeah. solar technology uh, we have uh, as we told also and i told about that this is etc evacuate tube collector based solar thermal technology it taps the it taps the heat in the in the thermic fluid we store the solar energy in the form of thermic fluid using the etc it is evacuate tube so efficiency quite high when we compare with the uh, uh, solar photovoltaic cell a uh, uh, solar solar photovoltaic cell is having only efficiency of 15 to 20 20% but it can uh, etc that technology it can harness the solar energy up to 40% so and we can store the energy in a thermic fluid and we can uh, we, we can uh, and if you are having the energy in a in a thermic fluid, we can we can use for the various purposes and uh, Then up to minus forty, we can use the things. Now we also have some yeah. greenhouse yeah, yeah, we'll behind that, which has been developed by the yeah, yeah. Defence Institute for High Altitude yeah. Research. Tell me about those. Yeah, like a red coloured one. Yeah, yeah. Just see, actually, in fewer bags we have, as we have discussed, solar energy. Here there is no that sort of sunshine. Here that is the heat loss is the main issue. And here is in recent year we have worked. on those as how to minimize the heat loss so we have designed the uh, uh, just a passive solar passive you know having the three uh, three uh, three side mud wall mud wall thick mud wall having the around 2 feet and 5 feet mud wall to absorb the to absorb the heat during day time and that he will be being utilized in the night time when the time is emit is minus 20 times and only sun facing is to west direction is the having the cladding material in the form of a polycarbonate sheet and we have used the triple layer polycarbonate sheet and ut administration has implemented via transfer technology to ut administration and ut administration has implemented this technology in a very well and till date around 3000 plus number of green houses say solar passive green have been established all around the adak area adak and this grow very much effective in the even in the peak winter and and for this successful implementation at the farmer field jointly with the ut administration we have received the pm award for excellence under the innovation category in 2022 lovely see the defense institute for high altitude research now has a renewed mandate yeah yeah in your old mandate is it correct that you gave solutions for removing hidden hunger for ladakhis and for the indian soldiers mm. by giving them green vegetables hal mein aapne yes tikhi mircha bhi bana di yeah yeah tell me a little bit about that abhi now jo our that is agriculture is our core area but uh, uh, government uh, as per the uh, uh, direction from drd or quarter now uh, now we are we are taking the project in a broader sense covering like our main focus thrust is uh, in current uh, current condition is the uh, tech, to develop the techno, technological solution for the soldier sustenance in high and super high altitude which will be uh, not only useful for the as uh, army but also very extremely useful for the uh, 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 local population also army marches on its stomach yeah yeah so your mandate with biology and agriculture yeah. will remain forever evergreen yeah the, uh, there is no doubt about uh, that yeah. and i think that should continue yeah, yeah, as your yeah, one focus yeah, while you focus yeah, yeah, on yeah, the engineering yeah, solutions yeah, yeah. within that uh, you have also these apple orchards yeah, yeah. behind us yeah, yeah. so there is now apple being grown in yeah. ladakh and i tasted yeah. those apples they are very tasty yeah. tell me about these apples which are right behind us apples uh, we did quite long way and now the now the we we have found some uh, varieties of apple which are quite suitable for this place 
and now farmers started growing the apples and we are we all the time giving the training is uh, agro environment technology training training the important parts we are giving giving how to grow what are the scientific way to growing the apples and uh, other fruit crops and this area as you told is a is the world best uh, world sweetest apricot we uh, is available in, in this area yeah. i also ate them they are very tasty yeah. now as climate is changing do you think apple cultivation may shift away from kashmir yeah and come to ladakh which is so productive yeah you are absolutely true we have seen the changes we have seen that the and earlier earlier days it is hard to grow the vegetable now the all the vegetables with the with the climate change are found suitable growing and tech, yes we are having we have found the solution for the good variety which variety is very ideal and then we have also developed the agro agricultural practices that is very important to grow the warm season tropical crops in this area now we started off with solar energy yeah bill uh, prime minister has a dream mm. which is to put up a large solar park i know that is a mandate for the country yeah. and way beyond the mandate of mm. drdo but just tell me a little bit about that mega solar energy park which is being spoken about in this field as you told in this field already ut admission they know very well they know and they will give in more info but what what we know ki the government of india plus ut admission going to establish the 13 gigawatt solar plant in gigawatt what solar power plant in this area as we discussed this area have the abundance in solar energy so already a survey having completed and that in the planning phase and hope and and from a, from here ada power will go to the uh, haryana i think kethal so the power grid and where is that going to be located roughly ah, it is around in here by the pang area is that in there so in, in here that that is a flat area so that is service going on already thanks a lot for yeah. speaking to me thanks sir doctor thank you very much thank, thank what you. a pleasure speaking mm, thank to you. you thank you thank you from this yes, rarefied yeah, yeah. beautiful yeah, air yeah. of yeah. uh, leh ladakh yeah. so that was dr om prakash chaurasia director of the defense institute for high altitude research a very unique laboratory of the defense research and development organization which had an earlier focus on agriculture and it literally removed hidden hunger from this yeah. high altitude Correct. cold desert a story which some some people are forgetting the new focus is to give solutions for the indian army and the indian soldiers at high altitude and super high altitude to make life easier for combatants at that altitude drdo is well placed for giving solutions there but the abundant sunshine mm. which is there yeah. in leh ladakh is god's gift to this area yeah. and the country hopes to benefit from that from the defense institute for high altitude research in leh ladakh palav bagla for ndtv